Big, big Dick Decker. Big Dick Decker. Big Dick Decker, you are dead to me. More like Big Dead Decker. You're more fucking dead to me than my dead hamster. And guess what his name was? Big Dick Decker. <laughs> This is the Two Minute Drill. I am Brandon Perna, and uh, just a day after releasing wide receiver Jordan Matthews, the New England Patriots needed to whiten up their receiving core and sign former Broncos slash Jets slash Titans receiver Eric Decker to a one-year deal. Look, if Decker gets on the field in that offense with Tom Brady and Josh McDaniels calling the plays, I believe he's going to score some touchdowns. He'd be a great red zone target for Brady and probably the last guy opposing defenses would consider covering with Gronk, Edelman, Hogan, and James White in the mix. Jordan Matthews was released due to a significant hamstring injury, which interestingly enough brings in Eric Decker to replace Danny Amendola for the Patriots in order for them to meet their white guy skill position quota, implemented by Robert Kraft, of course. Look, if NFL receiving cores were a cup of coffee, most NFL teams would enjoy a rich, hot, bold, dark cup of java. The Patriots prefer a light roast saturated with cream, providing a lukewarm thermos of joe. I don't think the Patriots will make it back to the Super Bowl this year. I have no logical reason to think that, but it's what I believe, so on a football level, this signing means very little to me. As the man who gave Eric Decker his nickname, Big Dick Decker, which spawned the Big Dick Player Award, I am personally Big Dick butthurt over this act of betrayal. Then Big Dick Decker makes an amazing catch in the corner of the end zone. Eric Decker, being the stand-up Big Dick guy I know he is in his heart, should have sat on his couch this NFL season with his wife, Jesse James, instead of signing with an organization that will turn him into a complacent zombie for the rest of his fucking life. Now, I wish, I wish Eric Decker great health this season. I hope he stays healthy, but I also wish him zero football luck. I hope he finishes the year with three catches for negative 87 yards and that his penis shrinks five inches, bringing it down to a less threatening nine inch penis. So take that, Big Dick Decker. Broncos fans were also betrayed by Peyton Manning today. First Decker, then Manning showing up at Raiders camp. It's like, what the, what's the point of even being fucking alive anymore? FYTB, FYED, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. There is a new That's Good Sports podcast up right now on my second channel, That's Good Broncos. Please check it out. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to listen to the podcast, like a real podcast on iTunes or Podbean or wherever you listen to your GD podcasts.